it is going to be a busy day today. We got a lot of things to do. Customs. To try to get to immigration to get my residency process started today. To Sensa to get a lot of the supplies and things that we need for the school. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm hopeful that it's going to be as productive today as it was yesterday. Very nice looking breakfast here at the uh, Best Western here in Managua. We've got all kinds of juices, cereals, hot breakfast, made to order eggs. This is probably about the best meal that I'm going to have all week. This looks really, really good. Going to get a chance to drive this morning. The uh, door is kind of stuck, so it's easier for me to get in and out of the driver's seat than Jaime. So I'm going to be driving in Managua this morning in the truck. Going to be a fun day. Try not to wreck. We have made it to our first appointment. Traffic was very light this morning. We expected a lot more traffic in Managua. We ended up getting here about uh, 45 minutes early, which is great because we can just kind of relax and wait on our appointment and not be in a hurry trying to get through traffic to get there. So it's been kind of nice doing that. We're at a uh, beautiful area here, some kind of a some kind of a school where they're doing some kind of conferences. They have dorms here. Um, apparently, Jaime and Pawn Ministries have done a lot to invest in and build the dorms here and the facilities here. So we've got some good friends in this area and hopefully they will be able to help us to get the container in and, and figure out all of that. So that's what this meeting's about, figuring out how to get the container in tax-free and then we'll keep going through our day. After a very successful first meeting of the day, we're now at our second objective and that is to get the truck fixed. The door is not unlocking on the driver's side, which is why I've been driving today because it's easier for me to climb in and out from the passenger side than it is for Jaime. So we're hopefully going to get this fixed, get this done. Um, I am seeing the truck that I want to have in this country. Uh, it's a very nice truck in there. Um, I'm nervous about buying anything used. Uh, Nicaragua is very hard on vehicles and uh, they just don't work well used. Usually people don't give up a vehicle unless there's something wrong with it. So we definitely have to get something new. I'm trying to find the lowest option, uh, price option that we can. These Russian trucks are actually pretty inexpensive when it comes to the size and capability of the vehicle. Uh, they're just a good, strong truck. Been driving this one for several weeks now and it's just an amazing vehicle. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens with that, where we're gonna go with that. I mean, I'm probably not gonna have any options and, for a while but uh, this is kind of where I'm leaning to go but we're gonna try to get this done and then we're off to uh, immigration so. we've made it to the immigration office lunch for right now is a piece of cornbread paid a little less than a dollar for it's really good but we're here at immigration we're gonna stand in line try to work on my residency process and get that done. So here we go. Viva Nicaragua. Finished at the immigration office, got the information that we needed, almost fell down those stairs there. Um, now we're at Sensa and I'm going to try to get all the different things that I need to get for the house and Jaime's got a bunch of electrical stuff to get for the school and we should be good to go. This is I believe the last thing we have to get done and we are good to go. Very interesting aspect of buying anything here is that they check everything and I missed it but uh, they're literally going to take every single light bulb that he's purchased and they're going to put it up to that wall and make sure that it works. They do this with every single thing that you get. Uh, they take it out of the box, take it completely apart, verify that every part is there, everything works before you leave the store. At first it was kind of an inconvenience. It's like gee whiz I just bought it can I just go? But it's actually kind of nice because if you ever buy something, bring it home and it's broken or it's not right, you're like, oh man, now I got to go back to the store. Here, they make sure it's perfect before you leave. And so if you come back with anything broken, then it's your fault. Pretty good little system.
I'm sitting here at the Russian dealership and working on videos and everything while I'm, you know, might as well use the time. Jaime was wonderful and brought me this uh, food. I have no idea where it came from, but it looks delicious and I'm going to enjoy it because we have not eaten yet today. And it's already well into the afternoon. So I'm looking forward to this. It has been an extremely long day, very productive day. We got everything done we needed in Managua. Came back uh, to Palacuina tonight. It is uh, very late. It's one o'clock in the morning. Just trying to get everything uh, figured out. We didn't even get back to Palacuina until about 11. And I've just been trying to get everything put up and, and, and put in place. But uh, all is well, doing great. Uh, gonna get a little bit of sleep tonight, and then we got a long day tomorrow. A lot of things we're gonna do. We're gonna try to wreck the water tower. Uh, gonna get on the internet a little bit. I'm gonna uh, get some things done uh, around the school, and everything's going well. So, thank you for watching. And I am obviously very tired, about to go to sleep. But uh, please keep uh, keep track and keep going. And I'm gonna keep trying to post these as soon as, as best as I can find internet. <laughs> so. Thank you so much. Bye.